All right, guys, so this is a FLIR 1 infrared imaging device. Uh, it was originally made for an iPhone 5, and I bought this used on eBay. Um, it's been probably a year and a half, maybe up to two years ago. So since it was made for an iPhone 5 form factor, uh, once everybody upgraded to newer phones, they didn't think these were usable anymore. But um, I found this red piece here. I 3D printed this with my 3D printer. I just found that file on um, one of the 3D model websites and printed it out so that I can fit it to an iPhone 6 and now my iPhone 8. So originally the iPhone camera would look through this little hole here, um, but the iPhone 6 and iPhone iPhone 6 and newer, I should say, um, are taller, and the camera actually looks over the top of it. So this clip is just to hold to your iPhone. Uh, you can see this plugs into the lightning jack here. So I hadn't used this in a while, and I charged it back up, and I was just walking around my house tonight, and let me show you what I found. Okay, so you can see this is my front door. Um, I've got around the top of the door, there's a little bit of purple indicating a little cooler section. Um, the thing that I thought was kind of interesting is you can see the deadbolt and the doorknob there, but right inside the wall, there's a cool spot. Um, also around the peephole is a little cooler, but the big thing I noticed was this dark purple spot right here. And that indicates to me that there's some air leaking in because you can see how it's trailing all the way out on the floor here. So um, I'm going to get a look at that and see if I can't fix it. Okay, so I'm down here at the door and this um, door has an adjustable sill plate on it. Um, and putting my hand down here, I can actually feel cold air coming in. Um, so I'm going to open the door here, and you can see that there are some adjustment screws in the sill plate. Um, and I can tell just visually looking that right here is higher than right there, and that's about where the cold air was coming in. So I'm going to see just how much of a gap there was. So I've just got a flashlight here, and I'm just going to set that up and close the door. So it doesn't look like much right now, but if I shine over here on the wall, look how much light's coming through there. Yeah, that's major. Let's see if we can adjust that. So I don't have the best lighting in my entryway here. Uh, but you can see these adjustment screws are just a Phillips head. So they are a large Phillips head. Um, so you will need a number three Phillips for these. And the number three fits in there nicely. So as I back the screw out, it raises that jam up. Let's close that up and... Take a look. Actually, I'm going to put my flashlight back in there. So, looking over on the wall, I don't see any light there. And now, looking, I don't see any gaps under it. Okay, so I've just got a piece of paper, uh, my son's homework, minus zero. Good job, kid. So I'm going to open the door. And I want to check all the way across this sill plate. So I'll slide it in close to the hinge side. Close the door. And now when I pull this out, 
I just want it to have some pressure. I don't want it to tear. So it's pretty snug there. It's probably about good. Do the same right here where the low spot was. So it's pulling out easier here. So I may want to adjust that up a little bit more. And finally, Oh, and I can almost push it back in that way. So I definitely need to come up over here. Still kind of loose over there. That's better. Let's see what the infrared shows. Okay, so you can see my streak of purple that came in on the floor is gone. I do have a, you know, even streak of purple across the bottom. And you can see at the bottom of the door, I've got a 66 degree temperature. And if I move that pointer down, so we're looking about a six degree difference between the this lower section of the door and the dark purple area. So that's probably not terrible. Um, this thing is sensitive enough. You can see these light spots. Whoa, there's my finger. These light spots through here. That is where I was actually kneeling and had my elbow uh, when I was on the floor. So. There's still enough heat there on the floor that this is picking it up. So it's it's a fairly sensitive tool. It may not be the most accurate as far as temperature that it's reading, but um, it definitely does show the temperature differences. And now I don't have a wide open gap. All right guys, so like that, I just used this handy little tool uh, to find an air leak in my house. Hopefully it'll save me some money on energy bills. Um, keep my house a little warmer. If you have somebody that has one of these or if you have one of these yourself, definitely use it to your advantage. Um, really great tool. You can identify all kinds of issues like this. Um, you can also use it to identify um, water leaks or um, clogged pipes in the walls or sometimes even to locate pipes in the walls. So if you run cold water or hot water through a pipe and you shine this, that pipe will show up in this. So hope you guys like this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And until next time, see you later.